Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will see how we can install Angular in your system. So, before installing Angular, it is very important that you need to install Node.js in your system. So, if you have not installed Node.js, please install Node.js so that using Node.js or using npm uh, node package manager, we can able to install Angular. So, if you are not installed Node.js, please install Node.js and then you can follow this video. Okay. So you can open any command prompt in your system or uh, you can open git bash or normal default command prompt which is available in windows but uh, i like to use git bash so you can uh, choose uh, any command prompt which you have installed or which you have by default command prompt in windows you can use that and the command everything remains the same so you need to run okay you need to run this command okay let's say npm install npm install dash g at angular slash cie and if you want the specific version to be installed so you can specify the version all right so i want to install eighth version of angular in my system so i'm taking the version specific version as eight if you want 11 12 you can uh, give the version number over here it's very simple and just you need to click on enter okay so it will take some time to get installed so we need to wait until this gets installed okay as you can see our download or installation has been completed we need to check whether angular has been installed in our system or not by running the command ng means ng means angular a n g u l a angular means it's a short form ng means angular so you can give ng space uh, colon and the p so you can get the specific like whatever the version you have installed you can able to see the version of angular okay so here uh, it, is, it is giving some description so instead of this command means if you are getting the, this, this description means your angular has been installed in your system so there is a one more command called ng version so like this so you will get the angular cli so like this as you can see so you can see you need to get something like this means if you get this means your angular has been installed in the system and you can able to see angular which is version 8 and i have installed node.js uh, of version 12 in my system so that's why it's showing over here okay so we have successfully installed angular js in a means angular in our system so now we'll try to create a project using angular so let's check whether we can able to create or not so first what i'm going to do i'll go to my desktop okay so in in my desk i'm going to create a new fold, folder called angular okay let's say i create a new folder called angular so like this all right so open this folder and if you have installed git bash means you can directly click the right button and you can open git bash here and suppose if you are not installed git bash means you can open your uh, default command prompt by using this step so you can go to this path over here and you can type cmd so your command prompt will be open and here just type a command as ng means angular new and you need to give a project name so let's say project name will be like uh, frontend so angular is a frontend framework so let's keep it as frontend over here and just click enter okay it will take some time to download the project means the startup project of angular and uh, we need to wait until this gets downloaded gets completed over here and here uh, you got a message over here like would you like to add angular routing means normally when you are making a front end application means when you are making a full stack application means routing is really important so give yes means you need to uh, click on y means you need to click as y and you can click enter and here it is showing what type of style sheets you want so normally we use css as a styling so i'll just click enter as you can see it's highlighted over here suppose if you are using a css or a css less means you can choose whatever you want so i want to choose css joe so let's hit enter and it will take some time to down as you can see over here it is asking like would you like to share anonymous usage data with the angular team at google under google privacy policy means uh, i don't want to share any uh, data usage for google so i'll click on no and uh, and your installation will be as you can see our installation has been completed and you can see the message as successfully initialized the like git 
so now uh, i'll just minimize this command prompt okay so now let's go inside this folder and explore what are the different folders which you can able to see so over here as you can see there are plenty of uh, like about few folders and plenty of files and we'll understand this one by one in upcoming videos okay so as of now we have downloaded this front end so let's start this server so now uh, my command prompt is pointing means the path is pointing to angular folder so i need to get inside the front end folder so cd front end so let's say to start this server you can give a command as ng so or suppose if you want to run this project in a default server uh, default uh, uh, browser means you can give as o dash o okay so ng sir dash o okay let me zoom in a little bit more so that you can be able to see this okay ng sir dash o so o means dash o means it is going to open means your project is going to open in a default browser okay as you can see over oh, here my server has been started and angular project by default it will run in the port number localhost 4200 so here my is application is starting and you need when you run this ng serve dash o this uh, some kind of small description has to come and if it is done so you can able to see the output in a localhost 4200 port number okay so this is my application so you can able to edit whatever you want uh, like what angular and uh, we'll see like a uh, few more videos related to angular in upcoming videos okay so thank you for watching and take care guys see you in the next video take care bye bye bye